Hello, I just replaced the driver's side front brake pads on my LX470 2006 and that's what I plan to do on the passenger side as long as there's nothing wrong with the rest of the brake components and I thought I'd show you because there might be a couple little bits of information that might be helpful. You can see here the two remaining new pads next to the old ones. Um, there's between three and four millimeters of brake pad left on the old ones. I'm going to start by taking off this spring right here. It just uh, pulls off of the uh, pin on up and upper and lower and remove it from here. And I'm going to punch out these uh, rods. So I punched out these little rods. Uh, upper and lower. I just use this little um, thing to repair flat tires and that will allow you to take this spring out here which just clips in right in there and it just comes right out. And now there are anti-squeal shims in here. There's actually three components. Next I'm going to take a big screwdriver and um, make a little gap in between the the uh, disc here and the brake pad and try to pry it to mash down the pistons to as close as I can. You know, pretty much almost flat to the caliper itself on both sides. All right, I got my caliper pistons pressed up against the outside walls of the caliper by sticking my screwdriver in and prying on both sides. So I'm going to start taking these anti-squeal shims out. There's three components to each side. Just one little thin one there. I just hit the brake pad out, and there's another one um, flat up against the brake pad. And there's a third one. It's uh, clipped into the two pistons by those two little tabs on upper and lower. So I'm going to clean these off with a brake clean and put, it, put the new ones in. I'm going to reinsert this shim. You can tell which way to put it in. These tabs go towards the inside. And these holes right here are for where this uh, pin goes. So this is going up against the uh, cal um, pistons in the caliper. And I'm going to insert these those tabs into the um, round pistons. <laughs> The openings in the round piston. Right, I'm gonna just clean off the brake disc, make sure there's no grease on there. The inner anti squeal shim, I'm going to coat both sides of it with this uh, brake caliper grease says it the best. The uh, stuff I cleaned off of this had um, some copper component to it. Anyway, I'll coat both sides and then uh, insert the pad. Okay, I have my uh, inner shim coated with grease on the pad. Yeah, hopefully this will slide back in place. Make sure that outer shim is well seated and flat within the uh, round uh, brake caliper cylinders. Here's the last piece of the uh, shimming system. I'm just going to slip this in place. I'm 
There you go. Now I'm just going to do the same to the other side. So I'll just take this one off. Powder brush should come out. Unclip that and take that out. That's as simple as that. Just a repeat, I have the uh, outer shim in place while seated with those tabs into the uh, pistons. I got my inner shim on the brake pad here. And just slide this into place. You could put the uh, inner shim even after you put the pad in place. I have the uh, last component. Basically, want to make sure I'm catching both of you know the shims there, and then wrap it around the pad itself. I'm just gonna reinsert the the uh, rods here before you put this this one all the way in. Make sure you put the spring back on. All right, got everything back in place. Spring there, spring there. I'm gonna put my tire back on, torque it to 132 Newton meters or 97 foot pounds. And I also have to Take a little brake fluid out of my reservoir. Take care.